No one could have predicted the horrible finding that would be uncovered months later when two adolescents went missing in January of 2018. Brelin Breezy Odison, 17, and Riley Powell, 18, went missing after spending the holidays with relatives. For over three months, the horrible truth had been kept buried in Utah's sweltering, quiet West Desert, and when the truth of what happened to the teens is revealed, it would shock even law enforcement and many in this small community. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories. Riley and Breezy were head over heels in love. They had made plans for a future together, but just a few days after Christmas, those plans perished with them. Riley and his father had been sharing a home in Eureka, Utah, where they had been living together. Baseball, swimming, and gymnastics were among Breezy's favorite sports. She also liked enjoying time with her family and boyfriend. Riley had completed his education and was now employed as a plumber. He was described as having a huge heart and always trying to live life to the fullest. Off-roading, drag racing, and basketball were among his favorite activities. Above everything, he loved Breezy. On the 29th of December 2017, the pair was seen together on their way home to Eureka, stopping in Mammoth to visit a friend. On the 2nd of January 2018, Riley and Breezy were both reported missing when no one had heard from them in a few days. Friends and family members started searching Utah's West Desert for signs of the teenagers, but nothing was discovered. The desert is around 4,000 square miles in size, and it's difficult to search at all. Several mines in the region were inspected by search groups, but no trace of the couple was found. Regrettably, they had no idea how close they were to their loved ones who had died. Riley's vehicle was discovered beneath a stack of bushes just south of Cherry Creek Reservoir not long after. Someone flattened two of the tires. Investigators were now confident that there had been foul play. During the first week of the investigation, the friend Breezy and Riley had visited, Morgan Lewis Henderson, 34, and her boyfriend, Gerard William, were questioned, although they denied knowing anything. Riley had previously dated Henderson, but the two had maintained a friendship after their relationship ended. Henderson first told authorities that she hadn't seen the two in a long time, but she eventually confessed after being pressed by detectives. She ultimately admitted that they had come to her home on the night of December 29, but that she had not heard from them since they had departed. It wasn't until March 25, 2018 that she finally admitted the truth. After being pulled over for speeding during a routine traffic stop, she was overcome with grief and confessed to authorities that Baum was the murderer of the missing pair. Henderson went so far as to tell where their remains were buried. Three days later, the bodies were discovered in a dusty abandoned mine just outside of Eureka known as the Tintic Standard Mine NO2. They were found dead, their bodies still tied up. Authorities found them with the help of cameras that they had placed 100 feet down the shaft. Baum had been in and out of prison for numerous offenses and forbade Henderson from having any male friends. Henderson reported that when Riley and Brellin initially arrived to her home, she was alone. Baum, on the other hand, arrived at the home shortly after, enraged that she had visitors. He was particularly angry that a male was there. He said, I told you you couldn't have guy friends, Baum rushed the teenagers without hesitation, tying them up around their legs and wrists and covering their mouths with duct tape. He then hauled both of them to Riley's Jeep and loaded them into the back. Henderson sat in the passenger seat with him. Baum took the victims to an isolated Eureka location. He led them to the Tintic Mine's edge and ordered the teenagers to kneel on the ground. Brelin pleaded with Baum to free her, informing him that she was expecting a child. Instead of offering her compassion, he let her stand there and watch as he viciously assaulted her boyfriend Riley in front of her before stabbing Riley repeatedly. He dumped Riley's corpse down the mine shaft after he was done. He then shifted his attention to Brelin. Then it was her turn. Despite the fact that he suspected Brelin was pregnant, he murdered her anyhow but he didn't make her suffer much longer. He cut her neck and threw her down the mining shaft where Riley had previously been dumped. Henderson said Baum's rage was focused at Riley and that he intended to make Brelin's death as painless as possible. As a warning, Baum forced Henderson to witness the killings, according to Henderson. She was never to violate any of his rules again. Baum was arrested as a suspect in the murder after the confession, and Henderson was arrested and charged with obstruction of justice.
He's accused of brutally killing Riley Powell and Breezy Ottenson and then dumping their bodies down an abandoned mine. Today, four years later, his trial began. Fox 13 News reporter Eliana Sheriff is live at 4th District Court in Provo this evening. She spoke with the young couple's families. Eliana. Yeah, well, certainly these families have waited a long time for this jury trial to begin. They say they have mixed emotions today, but they're hoping for a guilty verdict by the end of the trial. So it's unreal that we're here today. It's been a, a long time waiting. The families of 18-year-old Riley Powell and 17-year-old Breezy Audison were brought together four years ago through the unimaginable. 46-year-old Jared Baum is charged with killing the couple in December of 2017. After a lengthy search for the missing pair, their bodies were found inside the Tintic mine near Eureka in March of 2018. We're grateful we're here. Um, hopefully patience uh, good things come to those who wait because we waited. The first witness to speak in today's hearing was Morgan Henderson, the girlfriend of Jared Baum, who gave up information leading police to the bodies about three months after they were killed. Morgan testified about the night Breezy and Riley were killed, saying after she invited the pair over for a bit to smoke some weed while Jared wasn't home, after they left, Jared came home and then led her outside. He went to the back of the car of the Jeep and I could see that Riley and Breezy were tied up. Court documents say Baum had warned her about having male friends and had threatened her to help him hide evidence. The families of the victims say there will never truly be justice in this case. Justice for Breezy and for Riley. I don't know that there's really true justice without having both of them back, but hopefully there's a guilty verdict and we can move on to the next chapter of healing. And Baum is facing several charges, including two counts of aggravated murder and two counts of aggravated kidnapping. I wish the death penalty was still on the table, you know. Anybody deserves it to be person who committed this crime. Originally, the Utah County attorney said he planned to seek the death penalty, but then changed his mind. The family say they still get together on special occasions to remember the young pair, and they will continue to stand together through this trial. We have two families now that's come together, so now we have a bigger family, which is pretty awesome. Our families mesh together and, and continue to just honor both of them. Baum pled not guilty to the murder in June of that year. It would take him four long, agonizing years to stand trial for the double murder. It was a horrifying moment. Morgan Lewis claims she thought she was going to die along with Riley Powell and Breezy Otterson. The two teens were murdered in late 2017. Their bodies discovered in a mine near Eureka and later recovered. Her boyfriend, Jared Baum, is now facing capital murder charges for their deaths. And today, she came clean, testifying against Baum during a preliminary hearing. Behind every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with The Justice Files. This is the first time Morgan Lewis talked publicly about witnessing the murder of two teens, telling everyone in the courtroom, quote, I was there. He'd never been mad at me like that. That had never happened before. It, was, it felt scary. Morgan Lewis says her then boyfriend, Jared Baum, was mad because she had two friends over that night in late December. The two teens were Breezy Otteson and Riley Powell, who ended up dead later that night. Lewis claims Baum was a very controlling man. He's facing capital murder charges for the murder of the two teens. Their bodies were found inside a mine near Eureka about 90 days after they disappeared. Lewis pleaded guilty late last year and was sentenced to two and a half years in jail for obstruction of justice, and she agreed to testify against her former boyfriend. It was clear something was really wrong. So you're out there in the middle of the night, two people are tied up, and so it, it was it was scary. They ended up at the mine, and at the time, Lewis thought she was going to die along with the two teens. Lewis and Otteson were kneeling, and Riley was standing facing Baum with his hands tied behind his back. Riley asked if he could kiss his girlfriend. And then Breezy said no, and she started crying. Then she says Baum appeared to be attacking Powell as they were standing next to each other. I heard Riley say, I'm dying, and he was gurgling. And that's when I realized that he wasn't hitting Riley, he was stabbing Riley. It was the most horrible sound I've ever heard. Then it was Audison's turn as Baum walked behind her while she remained tied up. 
and it seemed like he had his arms around her, but I'm not sure. Um, and he said, it's okay, darling, and he went shh to her, and then um, I felt warmth on my leg. Okay, and what did you perceive at that point? I, it was her blood. Lewis says she saw Baum toss Powell's body into the mine. Audison was next, but her life was spared. He's got this huge grin on his face, like he's enjoying himself. And he was, um, he did later, he laughed about it. He said that was like lambs to the slaughter. They didn't even fight. Lewis says she felt threatened that she too would be murdered by Baum if she told police. But later on, she felt guilt and wanted closure for the families. This case continues tomorrow. Brelin was not pregnant when she died, according to an autopsy. Gerard Baum, 45, was found guilty on two charges of aggravated murder and kidnapping on April 15, 2022, following a month-long trial. It was an emotional day for the victims' families who have waited years to see this man brought to justice. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree joins us tonight from Provo. Jenna, how are the families doing after the verdict? Bob, they are relieved. We spoke with a few family members after the jury wrapped up, and while they do feel that justice was served today, they're disappointed that the verdict isn't the capital punishment that they think Jared Baum deserves. Well, I don't know if we're allowed to say we were happy, but we were happy. The day has finally come for the families of Riley Powell and Breezy Audison. We, the jury in the above entitled case, unanimously find beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, Jared William Baum, is count one guilty of aggravated murder. It's been a tense four years, and to hear that first guilty was, it was like, it was a weight lifted that we, it's been long overdue. Jared Baum found guilty on all counts of murdering the two teens in 2017. This case predates me, and it is easily, without question, uh, the case that has, uh, through which we have expended the greatest resources in the history of Utah, of any case in Utah County. Both families had asked for the death penalty for Baum, but Utah County Attorney David Levitt took capital punishment off the table a few months ago. While a conviction uh, like this will never bring back either Riley or Breezy, um, I hope that today's guilty verdict will in some measure begin a healing process for the victims. Davis says if anyone deserves the death penalty, it's the man who murdered her niece. We had hoped for the death penalty from from the day we, the charges were filed. Death penalty has been, we felt like we wouldn't, we haven't fought hard enough if they didn't receive, or he didn't receive the death penalty and that, that these kids, these kids were worth that. Gerard Baum was sentenced to four consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Baum's conviction was made possible by Henderson's testimony. The case lacked DNA evidence, and prosecutors say Baum and his girlfriend destroyed everything tangible that may connect them to the killings using bleach and fire. Some have questioned the case since it is primarily based on Baum's girlfriend's testimony. There would be no case without her, and Baum would never have faced a jury. What do you think? Does a story sound believable? Since 1983, the state has closed about 7,000 abandoned mines and plans to shut thousands more. This example highlights the dangers of having underground mines exposed to the public, where anybody may readily dispose of anything, even valuable lives. This case is tragic beyond words. Breezy Audison and Riley Powell did not deserve what happened to them. They were stopping by a friend's house to enjoy themselves before heading home, and he decided to take their lives. They were so young and didn't even have a chance to live life. My condolences to their friends and family. May you continue to heal. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.